call the meeting to order. Thanks everyone for coming and welcome Howard. Um, so do we have any public comment? Yeah. Cool, sounds good. All right, so we can go over the newsletter. Oh, uh, actually I guess. Yeah, you know, yep, good I, point. I was just thinking. I did just notice that that was uh, left off of this agenda was the roll call and the adoption. Yeah, I just realized at the same time. So um, should we so do a roll call I first? can do the roll call, yes, cool. absolutely. Essie Snell. Here. Michelle Horton. Caitlin Stafford. Here. Mike Henschen. Here. Lisa Skumatz. Here. Eileen Flynn. Jim Zarski. Here. Jonathan Koffler. Here. Howard Fisher. Here. We have a quorum. Woohoo. All right. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to make a motion to adopt the agenda. Now, unless anyone else has any recommended um, discussion items. I'll second that motion. Cool. So we have the green business recognition program, sustainability scorecard, and benchmarking, um, the 2019 work plan review, and the newsletter bullets. So I recommend adding a nine new business? Sure. Okay. Should I, I guess this PDF's like. So we do, so number three is new business. Yeah, number three. Oh, sorry, all right. Withdrawn. So, so yeah, so we could just add that as uh, letter C. Okay. Sure. So, all in favor of adopting the agenda? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> all right. So, uh, moving on to newsletter items. And I, I put it right on the newsletter where our stuff starts. So, you don't awesome. have to Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, we've got some information on solar. Is there a way to turn off some lights right next to the screen, or yeah, is I there? I can't read it at all. Jonathan, if you want to, yeah, so you can see. It's hard for me to. Yeah. I believe it's the other. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's uh, perfect. Okay. Yes. Cool. Thanks. All right, that makes it much easier. <laughs> um, okay, so through the Energy Smart, Smart Program, a bunch of information on solar. You know, Karen, if there are other things, I guess there's the hazardous yep. materials management, um, large household item disposal, yard waste. Uh, for new members, we have a do good program, which is um, if you have a dog and a visit the Superior Dog Park, uh, those are all the compostable bags and the bins that can compost the dog waste. So that's been a program that's been going on for a couple of years and it's been um, pretty successful. Open space. Uh, we haven't done anything with open space yet. Um, I'd be open to talking about that, and uh, maybe that's something where we could get the open space advisory committee as well to um, do kind of a joint initiative. If that's something we want to pursue. So, yeah. Um, anything else that I should cover? Or? That was pretty much it. Perfect. Okay. All right, uh, Karen, did you want to talk about the December meeting? You had mentioned that some of the other Yeah, so uh, me being new to my position here as well, I'm finding out new things as we move along. And it sounds like in the past, um, the December meeting has been a holiday gathering. Um, so if you're interested in foregoing the regular meeting, if we have everything, you know, work plan and everything buttoned up and we're um, would like to take the December meeting as a holiday gathering, we're more than welcome to do that at a local restaurant. Um, uh, we would pay with that, pay for that with the, the the committee's discretionary funds. So that would be something that you guys can all discuss and decide on what you would like to do. I think it sounds like a, a nice thing to do because um, we haven't done that in previous years. Uh, I do think making sure the work plan is prepped for end of the year is important. So. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can get through all of that tonight, and if we need to wrap up any loose ends on that, we could do that. 
do that or can we do that via email yeah absolutely okay. yep we can start the conversation and then wrap right. that up um, there's also the ability to add um, a second meeting in December. I know December's holiday times and people are out of town, but that is an option. If we didn't finish things up tonight, we could add um, a, 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 you know, another meeting in December uh, beyond the holiday gathering if we okay. need to wrap anything up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, do we know if any local businesses have yet participated in our green business program? Any local restaurants? Um, I don't yeah, believe any, I don't believe any restaurants have. Um, <clears throat> Matt was out of town this week. I had emailed him for an update. Um, but I can certainly check in and see if there are any. Um, and then we could well, choose to It would be a nice opportunity for us to uh, reward those yes. who participate in our program by going yes. there for dinner. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I will check cool. so we could we could determine the location after that yeah I, yeah I think that sounds like fun so why do that yeah so we can always um, you know t bring this back up at the end of the meeting uh, before we adjourn and make a decision then or you can make a decision now how whatever you'd like to do I think we should be able to get the work plan in good order tonight I think so okay. yeah or finish it up by email if needed yeah so um, I guess all in favor of Doing a, party. having a holiday party? <laughs> Aye. Sure. Aye. Hi. Hi. Hi, Michelle. Michelle, do you want to have a holiday dinner for December? Michelle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, sorry, no. In lieu of our usual meeting. That's true. All right. Well, it sounds like we all want to do that. So um, I guess we can move on, Lisa, to the grant. Mm -hmm. um, let's tell you about the progress. So normally I wouldn't have expected to hear back at all anything about the grant by this point, but it turns out that um, I, I knew that the county was doing a waste sort for countywide, but um, from, because, you know, we got the RP, you know, they've got the RP and all that. But it's generally been countywide and not community specific, and so that wasn't really going to help us. Having our data blended with what Boulder does is not going to tell us very much about what we're doing. So, so I hadn't even, you know, included it in our in our proposal. But um, I got a call back, and they said, "Oh well, um, let's see how do I phrase this." They didn't say it would have a lot better chance. They just said, it, "If we're going to put this before the counties, you know, funding things." It might be good if they were somehow integrated so it didn't look like we were doing A over here and B over there and you know, not the never the terrain shall meet. So they said, so that sounded like a possible, um, possibly okay idea. They're gonna do two sorts, two count, two season sorts, which we wanted. Um, they've already selected the contractor, so with a competitive process, so presumably they got a good price. We should potentially only have to pay pretty much the marginal cost of collect of doing additional sorts and less sort of overhead and hassle for us. Um, they they have a list that's probably more than we need to um, to sort into, but we can aggregate or keep just, you know, separate, it's okay. Um, I'm trying to, f I'm, they're giving me some idea of what, they're, they're supposed to get back to me with what cost it's gonna be per sort so I can figure out if we'll have enough samples to make a decent confidence interval around the stuff, but um, I'll I'll send you guys in my recommend my recommendations based on what I hear back, okay. and but I think it will be far more likely that we will get the grant if we do it in this way. So, and also, because they're going to do the first sort in December, it's much more likely also that we can pay out of this year's funds or at least part of it out of this year's funds. Mm -hmm. And this is a year we hadn't quite spent all our funds yet. So Excellent. for the for the match, so I think there are a number of reasons to, to look at that. So cool, thanks okay. so much. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Any questions about that? Could you remind uh, us the context of what thanks. we were proposing? I wasn't here last time. And I, sure. I so um, the meeting before last, we had talked about some of the things we might like to to do, um, and um, one of the things we talked about was well, we'd like to do a better job of tracking. And we have no information right now. We have one kind of information about tracking, and that's the tonnage information from the haulers for um, that let us calculate a, a kind of a 
recycling rate, but it shows that we're, we've been fairly stagnant for a while, 24% in that range within a couple of percentage points for the last 10 years minimum. So, um, and that doesn't tell us what to do next. So we, we don't really have a sense of what it is people aren't throwing away, you know, are throwing away that they should be recycling so that we could target our education better. So the idea was that we would do a waste sort, and it would be maybe a waste sort and a recycling sort. We have options for both. Um, and that that would tell us, gee, what's still in there is, you know, we've got, you know, 50%, we've got a ton of cardboard here that people, it's eligible for them to, to recycle. And so one of our education messages for this coming year should be, you know, hit that cardboard. Or maybe we find that all the recyclables are, you know, great. And, you know, the thing that's left is organics. And we should be hitting food waste or, you know, or trying to set up a program that will take food waste or say, go to that, you know, yard waste facility much more often because golly, look, you know, we've got a ton of that stuff in here. That was the plan. If we do a two season sort, which is good, which I usually, which is usually like spring and fall, which I've always thought was stupid because the, neither of those is very, you know, it's better, I think, to get peak no, no um, organics and then peak yes organics. So you get, and so I like this idea of a December or January sort and then June and July. And so that's more what they have in mind. So anyway, that, that will give us an idea of what is our baseload of sort of recyclables year round without, without the yard waste in the way. And then, oh my God, how much yard waste do we get at a peak? And, we, and there are, there's lots of data on what that, smooth, what that looks like over the years so we can interpolate in between to get a really good idea of what our, what our um, waste stream is gonna look like. So there was a grant that Boulder County had, a sustainability grant that, was it 15,000? I think it was fifteen thousand dollars, and so what? What we were, what we proposed to do was to put out an RFP, hire a person to do the a firm to do these these two season sorts, and that would tell us two things. It would tell us the information I told you about the about how much material we would have, but it would also let us compute a, a, something that would be a goal or a metric that would be the percent recoverables that are remaining in our waste stream. So that number could then be improved over time. We could say okay, you know, we, we, we put out some education and we said, do more cardboard and do more, you know, get rid of the plastics or whatever. And then maybe next season's sort or next year's sort, we would see that number decline. And so that percent goal, we might start out at 40% of our waste stream is, is recoverable yet, or maybe even more. Um, and we might set a goal of say, we wanna get down to 20% or we wanna get down to 15% or something like that. And that's a very, it's a goal that tells us both, you know, what, you know, what our number is and what it's composed of, so we know what to do next. What do we hit next? So it's sort of a new, new, newfangled metric in the in the field, and I think it has a lot of promise here. And it's what's nice is it's totally unambiguous. We can compare with other communities without saying, oh, do they count car bodies in their waste, you know, recycling rate, or do they count concrete in their recycling rate? And you know. You get numbers from San Francisco and you say, gee, they, they do great, but then they're counting this, that, and the other thing that we're not counting, and so you can never get apples to apples. With a waste comp, you can see what's in there and what's not. So that's, that's the background. And so I think we have a good chance, a decent chance of winning it. So. And the other part is we had to get it done last month because of the timing, and then there was like a weird little match part that we yeah. had enough left from our budget this year to make that up, and then in conjunction with the volunteer stuff, because they credited you for time that volunteers. It, was due, so it all really worked out. It was due about three or four days after our last meeting. Great. Cool. Thanks, Lisa. All right, so I think we can move on to the Green Business Recognition Program. Caitlin, do you want to talk about that? Sure. Um, so I know Matt has been doing a bunch of outreach. I know some of our newer businesses in the marketplace, like Cactus Wax Studio, have been meeting with him. So um, getting some of those folks on board. Um, I think there's still a lot of the larger companies that have kind of pushed him off. Um, so we'll see how that continues through the end of the year. He was out of town this week. Um, I would recommend that we go ahead and order decals. Um, Matt suggested five to eight in each category, um, bronze, silver, gold. Uh, so if we can get those ordered, we'll be able to distribute those to businesses um, maybe in January. 
Can you tell me a little bit about what the yeah. program is? Yeah, so this year, um, this is one of our larger projects, I would say. Um, so Boulder County's um, PACE office, um, which is Partners for a Clean Environment, something like that, um, they do um, free business consulting for sustainability. So they'll come into a business um, and say, you can replace your faucets or your light fixtures, you could install um, bike um, stations, and, and so a variety of things um, from lighting, water, waste, um, educating employees on trash versus compost versus recycling. Um, and so they do quite a bit of that consulting for free and help companies also apply for rebates um, and incentives for making those changes. Um, so PACE is um, mostly Boulder, but also Boulder County. Um, so they have one advisor that goes out into Lafayette and Louisville and Superior. Um, and so Lafayette and Louisville had both set up green business recognition programs over the past couple of years. Um, so working with PACE to identify businesses in the community that are um, meeting certain levels of sustainability um, and then rewarding them. So um, this is our first year doing it. Um, we are hoping to get it in place as we hopefully get more uh, businesses in Superior uh, so that they'll get a decal that they put on their window saying they're a Superior Green business. Um, we'll be recognizing them in a variety of ways at different town events. Um, so we're still figuring out some of what that will look like in coming years um, as the program timeline moves forward. And I do, I do have uh, that final email update from Matthew Hannon um, that talked about uh, his final outreach update. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys all received it, but I will send it out again to all the new members so that you guys can see um, the results on this. We, it looks like we do have two businesses, the Sports Stable and the Rock Creek After School, who are currently signed up. And then we have Top Tier Bikes and Cactus Wax Studio, like Caitlin mentioned, um, that are receiving full, full pace assessments. And then there are three others that he reached out to, Brain Balance, Real Kids, and Masaki at Superior that he also met with. So it's kind of exciting. Yeah, um, and I, I meant to reach out to Heather as well because he had said the chamber should um, yes. apply. Um, so they're a business in our community. Um, yeah, so I think, I mean, I'd say for our first year and figuring it out with a limited number of local businesses, um, it's, it's going. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how 2019 goes. Thanks. Um, hearing no more questions on that, uh, we can move on to the sustainability scorecard that Mike, you've been working on. And let me see, do we have it yeah, here? Great. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, great, so what, what we want to do, as we mentioned once before, is uh, create a tracking system where we can uh, monitor our, the town's performance on whatever we we decide as a community is is important for us in terms of sustainability. Um, and so we've created uh, a draft or a mock-up of what a scorecard might be and started collecting data. So the goal would be to uh, improve on this, refine some of the things, make some decisions, finish collecting the data, and then in the next couple months, hopefully we have it lined up, and then we would go to the town board and get their feedback. I think it would be a little bit informal. We'd, sh we'd present it and say, this is something we want to propose for the town. What is your feedback? We take their feedback and then make changes. And down the road, we could uh, formally adopt this as something that the town board endorses. It can be posted in public places or on the website and update it every year to keep track of, is the town becoming more sustainable in the ways that matter most to us? So, uh, and, then, and then a future phase to that would be to get other communities to start tracking, to agree to track the same things that we track and compare ourselves against them and see how are we doing compared to Louisville, Lafayette, and other communities. So right now we are at the stage of um, working through some of the details of the design and getting the data together. So you'll see, so right, uh, this is the front, front page. Last time we talked about making it a front and back, but we've got six categories. Uh, five of them are on this front page. 
So just to run through, we have, we have climate as a category. We're tracking the town's greenhouse gas emissions. It's measured, the county runs a calculation or a measurement every five years or so. Um, they did change the methodology this year, but even so, it looks like we're actually coming down quite a bit, which um, is great. <coughs> Um, waste, right now I've still got waste aversion up there, which as you mentioned is hovering around the same 24% range. So if you'd... It's easy to get two, two bars next to each other there. Yeah, and one so... Metric and one, one new metric. Yeah, and your metric, uh, I'm happy to add it, just so I'm clear on it. It's the percentage of... Uh, percent recoverables remaining in the trash. Percent recoverables remaining in the trash. Perfect, I'm gonna type that so I don't forget. Um, PRR. Percent. Percent recoverables remaining in the trash. PRR. Great. So that could be an addition. Now, we don't have any historical data from that, so it would be a new one that we would want to start tracking. Um, we've got renewable, a couple energy metrics. I'm going to come back to those because I have some questions for people's input. Uh, mobility or transportation, we talked about the percentage. The county can give us this data. They, we don't have it yet, but they can get it. The, um, of all the vehicles registered in Superior, what percentage are electric vehicles? So right now, this is probably like 1% or less, but something we'd hope to see progress over time. Uh, water use intensity, looking at how many, um, the annual 1,000 gallons consumed per capita in the town. So we have some recent data on that. Um, so let me talk about energy. <clears throat> so there's a couple thoughts here, a couple questions for your input. The two things we talked about, one is how much of our energy is renewable, and increasing that would be, would be great. The second is how efficient are we or how much energy do we use per residence? So on the left, the renewable energy, uh, Excel puts out community level data, which we can get this from. The decision I've made here and how I put it up here, which I want your input on, is to consider both the, our use of electricity and of natural gas, because those are both sources of energy that Excel provides. Uh, the consequence is that the natural gas is inherently not renewable. And so if, we're, if we have close to 30% renewable electricity, then it, the total shows up like 10%, because of all that natural gas use is inherently not renewable. I think this is a good way to measure it, because the county has long-term goals around actually getting people to use more renewable energy for heating, which requires changing the technologies we use in our, our homes and businesses. Um, but that it is maybe a little different than people are used to seeing it. So I'm happy for your reactions on that. Yeah. And, and there's no way to get something like the penetrate the percent of households that have solar, right? There may be. Um, we could think about that because there there is some Excel data. It doesn't come exactly like that, but the town just, should also have a permitting process for that. Permitting, that's an so interesting So we may be able to see from the town data, we'd have to go talk with town yeah. staff to try to figure that out. I think that might be an interesting one. Yeah, that, that I believe appeal. the town has to issue permits for those. The town and should have data on that. Yeah. It'd be nice if we could combine that with community solar um, initiatives that Excel is doing. So like they have the Renewable Connect program and a couple others where you can get um, a share in a local solar, solar farm. So even though you don't have solar panels on site on your home, you're still using renewable energy. So if we could combine those somehow, that'd be cool. Yeah, I have a few questions about the energy. Um, is that, first of all, I think those numbers look high to me, uh, 10%. Um, I have a hard time believing that 10% of electricity is from renewables unless that's factoring in wind source. So can we trust those numbers right now? Yeah, so th the official Excel number for the state um, is 29%, I want to say. So that's Excel. For just the electricity that Excel yeah, provides. Correct. And I get that. Yeah, that's a big chunk of that's wind and all that. But I'm trying to understand the right. town level. If, if what, yeah, so what, what's all going of, into that number, basically? Yeah, right? so we're kind of assigning that. So we're saying that of basically of the electricity that we use in all the buildings in the town, it's 29% is renewable because we're getting it from Excel and 29% of what they give us okay. is renewable. Got it, so they're scaling it down. Now. Yeah, and okay. so that's, that's already 29% of the electricity. And then 
you know, we're kind of lumping it all together with everybody's natural gas usage, um, which is 0% renewable because it's just, mm -hmm. it's just a fossil fuel. And so when we kind of lump them all together, the, the combined average is around 10%. Yeah. So are they doing a BTU? Sorry, I'm, I'm an engineer, so I'm going to... No, no problem. There's the technical yeah, was, detail here, but are they, yeah, it's, are they it's, converting everything to BTUs, and then they're basically what percentage uh, in this of case, are coming In this case, from? I've done it. So I converted the BTUs to kilowatt hours and uh, on so an energy what, equivalency basis. That's what you did? Yeah. Okay. But they are... Together. I guess what's the opposite of extrapolating, because they're actually taking it down, but they're titrating it, I guess. They're taking 29% and just taking it down to assume that we're 29%. They are, yes. Yeah. So that's that's we need a little bit more clarification with the Excel staff member who actually just responded to my email earlier today, so we can follow up with him. But uh, yeah, their line is we can't break that up community by community because we just have a statewide average. I see for the renewable percentage, but I think but they do give us data on how many people participate in wind source, rooftop solar. Not how many people, but how many um, kilowatt hours of energy usage of energy oh, cool. production. Is associated with our town from all these renewable programs so it's so one of the items for us to do is to actually follow up with excel and figure out if we can make the adjustment because superior we we might assume superior has a little bit higher um participation in those things than the state average so we should actually look a little bit better than the state average but we we need to work through with excel how to calculate that which we haven't done yet and so it's really participation in a program not the actual savings or installations or something like that because some people may have done it outside the program well and that's fine i'm just well yeah I, would, I believe and so this there's a these are the details to be confirmed with excel but i believe excel should have all the data because everyone who puts mm -hmm. solar on the roof has to interconnect with right. Right, excel exactly. even and they have a couple different options the solar rewards or not but excel does have data on all on all those customers but, but i think the simpler the metric can be for the Council understands so if something has a lot of calculations under it, will make them feel a lot more comfortable. So something is too combined, just I think, I think it's gonna be a, a, a little harder for them to understand. Just yeah, that's right. So our attention is sort of being comprehensive and including every, including everything versus being really simple. Yeah. Um, but this you know. isn't specific to Superior, though. That's my concern. And because yeah, it's, it's not, it, average, if it's everybody not went out and installed PV on their house today, that number is getting washed up into the 29% for the whole state. Right, which is why I so think we need not, to, which is why we need to um, make this additional adjustment, which we need to sort through with Excel to confirm yeah. how they're presenting the data. Um, because that's right, because if every, you're, we don't want to stay with average. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. So that's why we don't want to oversimplify and just say we're reporting the state number. No, but I think not helpful. Yeah, and we don't include Excel's it if it's a, we don't include right. it if it's only state level. That's not yeah. helpful. So I would say we find a different metric if they've only got state level. Uh, I think with the data they give us, we have to do a couple extra calculations. But I think we can make the adjustment, Great. and it'll show that the community specific Great. number. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I. What are your thoughts on including gas? Because I know long-term picture, heat pumps, whatever, you know, go all electric, electrification of the grid, et cetera, et cetera. But um, you're talking I, about the the well, how, middle how right-hand side. You're rating Mid the number with the gas BTUs because the, those aren't renewable. You're talking about the middle right-hand side one. A little well, I've done, that in, I've done that in both. I've lumped them together in oh. both cases. So. Mm -hmm. I don't see everybody ripping out their furnaces anytime soon and putting in heat pumps across all of our homes. So that's why I'm wondering if if we really want to track how many PV panels are on everybody's roofs and superior, is that kind of what the warm and fuzzy that everybody wants to hear? I don't know if we want gas messing with that data. But I, yeah, but I, I totally I, get that yeah. at the end of the day, gas commit, you know, contributes to greenhouse gas emissions and, and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So I, I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, no, I, I wasn't necessarily, I, I think that they would like a metric, something like, PV installed or how, share of households with PV installed or something. And I don't think that's a hard, hard metric to add. And it doesn't mean that, and it's different from the electric vehicles, which I think isn't going to, uh, it may or may not bump very soon, but it's, it's, it's a pretty significant investment. PV, I think we can start with, you know, a, a reasonable share already, which is going to make people feel good and, and increase it from there. I, I don't know. I just, I, it, that first one, I just don't understand what it is. So that, 
One, two, three. The third one, um, I, I don't quite understand what it is, and so I think um, they may not either. And something simpler, or allowing one metric to have two bars in it that reflect two different things or something that wouldn't be that hard and it would be cleaner. Yeah, one with the utility, maybe one with the tab. Yeah. And maybe we could even do like a number of households either with PV on the roof or participating in a, yeah, and like renewable connector or wind source program. I was simplifying, people. yes. That's yeah. yeah. Or maybe percentage of houses. Yeah. That's yeah. What yeah. Something like that. Yeah. It, and that 10% number it seems like mo mostly when people, when uh, states have targets, aren't those for the electric grid and not for electric and gas combined? So it's, uh, I think most people in their head would compare 10% to what the standard is for like the state 20% or. Yeah. So I think that That's would right. that would throw a lot of people off. I mean, I like to know it, what that number is, but. It, yeah, I can appreciate the number too, but to, yeah. to the regular crowd, what's gonna mm -hmm. appeal to them, you know? Yeah. And I think um, if you do put numbers up there, we should have a, you know, a number alone is not very helpful. You have to have a number in comparison to something else. Over time, we'll have a comparison over over time for us, but in the meantime, we should either compare it to have have on each one of those either a county average or a state average or something that lets us know where we are in relation to the to something. Because ten percent, they won't know if that's good, bad, you know, or whatever. So, at least starting, and I would say long term, we should either either have one or both of Boulder County average and, and state average. And I also do think that. Um, as much as I like the, the calculations you've done with combining gas and electric, we also do have the CO2, is it COT or COTE? Um, anyway, we've got the carbon emissions data on there. I know it's not quite as granular as the other stuff, but maybe that's enough for kind of a, a comprehensive look and so we can have a little bit more granular focus for some of the energy specific metrics. All right, cool. So where do you get the information about how many tons of CO2 are dumping into the atmosphere? And that county wide too? That, uh, the tons of CO2 in the upper left in orange, that is a county, the county um, every five or six years hires a consultant. But does do a county wide, they do the inventory yeah. county wide, but they produce the results community by community. Mm -hmm. And so they, they put out a superior specific total, which is, which is meant to include everything that happens in superior, including cars and, mm -hmm. uh, so just in Superior, I mean, no, you know, I live right next to the airport, mm -hmm. Jefferson County, so, you know, you have jets, little crop duster things flying over Superior. Is, I mean, is that stuff concluded or? I don't know their exact methodology, I'd have to check. My guess is they don't include the aircraft that since there's no airport in Superior, yeah. I, I suspect they're not accounting for aviation in our total at all. Yeah. But if they're reading the air. Over no, they're not doing. It's not based on a direct measurement. I don't believe. I think they. I, I believe they're going around. I don't know their full methodology, but presumably they're estimating. You know, how many cars drove how many miles, and what's the average fuel efficiency of the car? They're calculating it. I expect rather bottom than up doing inventory any kind of. Um, didn't NASA do a uh, yeah. study of the front range? <clears throat> How much I'm not CO2 familiar is. with that. Yeah, I know you're referring to, but yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, they actually the, Yeah, but they did yeah. fly over yeah. the oil fields and everything. I, I'm just curious. I had another question about the, the water. Can mm -hmm. move on to that? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, so when you say this is per capita, does that include what the uh, city is spending, uh, using in water, and the uh, HOA is spending uh, water, this, using with water? No, the data that I received from Martin, so this is actually only residential, <coughs> so I should add the word residential on there. Um, so it is the total, it's town data from uh, water delivered to residential customers. Okay. Per the pot divided by the population of the town. Because one of the reasons I wanted to join this was mm -hmm. the HOA's use of water and the city's use of water. I was just curious if we can get that information. This doesn't include the, re the uh, reclaimed water. 
Bill now to all the irrigated species that he's talking about, right? Uh, no. Well, it shouldn't if that's reclaimed. Yes, if that's used yes, once and then reclaimed. Yeah, it's it's just the, water, um, yeah. I don't know, the, the terminology. The water but, plant yeah. is kicking out. It's probably where the Northeast. Right, exactly. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's potable. Yeah, potable water. It's potable right. water. That's when correct. When it's going into yeah. green space, in my opinion, that are waste. So. I think that's reclaimed water. Yeah, reclaimed water is the water that comes out of the wastewater treatment plant. That is, is pumped. It's the all the it's it's uh, designated by the purple. Uh, you, you see purple sprinkler heads. Yeah, that's all reclaimed that. water. And okay. so, uh, cool. I can't say a hundred percent of our green space and parks are watered that way, but I think the majority. Okay. Majority is. Yeah, is it when they built the town? I think they built it with that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Individual lawns are probably there. Whole, but the community space is, is not. I have a nitpicky energy question. So I assume um, for the middle right um, section, you're looking at site rather than source energy. Uh, I believe so. It's it's from the Excel sense, community but... energy report, so I'd have to go back and look. Okay. It should be, yeah, it must be site. I would because it's so based that's... on metering at the customer's premise Okay. Yeah. for Excel data, cool. uh, which is associated with its own. Yeah, it must be site data. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I heard a couple pieces of feedback there. I'll break out. I'll separate out the gas from electric and uh, took a couple other notes here. The other addition, the, so this is not filled out. Basically, I asked the county for their advice on how we should uh, track air, air pollution numbers. Now, they're not, for the time being, they're not measured specifically in Superior. They're measured for the region. I think the modeling site is in the city of Boulder. But um, my understanding is that it's a, a reasonably good metric for understanding air pollution uh, in our community as well. So it's a good starting point. They've just sent me some recommendations about which of these metrics to include and how, so I'll incorporate that for next time. But it seems like ozone is the, the primary one that's a cause for concern in the front range and is frequently in violation of the EPA standards. I thought we had particular, I thought we had dust or whatever problems also, but we may have others. They I think that's I just the got Denver the email like an hour ago, so I haven't so. actually read it all. But yeah, I think they, that's the, other one. the county or the state actually it's actually the state that puts the data online. So um, I'll have to go investigate what's in there. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> okay, but that's this was just a reference for us, but that's what's in there. So I've taken some feedback. I'll go update that, try to get the data from the county, let you guys know. And once we have something that we feel good about, we can share it to the board and get their feedback as well. Excellent. Thanks, Thanks so much Thanks. for all your work on this. This is awesome. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. All right. Oh, this mouse is so slow. <laughs> all right, work plan. Caitlin's excited about the work plan. All right, so um, this is the 2019 work plan with everything that we are involved with in one way or another. So it's um, first lays out all the ongoing things that are going on throughout the year, and then uh, quarter by quarter specific things that we want to focus on. So um, I guess we can just go through item by item, or um, what's the easiest way? All right. So ongoing, uh, and feel free to just stop me at any point if you want to discuss it. Otherwise, I'll just kind of read them out. And so one thing we talked about before we launch in sure. was um, making it more actionable this year, the things that are ongoing, um, like newsletter articles, all moving up into that kind of, we're not taking an action on it quarter by quarter necessarily in our meetings. Um, and so the quarter by quarter breakout being things that we would actually do like green business outreach or scorecard updates, things like that. Um, so I think keeping that framework in mind as we work through, um, if it's something that we're not actually going to do anything about, see if that's something we want to move up to the top. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah, it looks like track changes are on, so that's good. Um, so you've got the residential and commercial energy audits. 
which is both through PACE and then also the Energy Smart program, which is uh, another Boulder, Boulder County program. Uh, Boulder County household facility, uh, household facility use, uh, which is our recycling goal. Recycling education for residents and businesses, um, which is mostly around education. And certainly if we get the grant and can do more of a, a sort so we know exactly how to tailor that message, I think that'd be super helpful. Um, that ties in also with promoting the town's diversion goal. And the promote is that everybody don't understand. What, uh, so, or I, or I wonder if we should um, add another verb or something. It's, the first two don't have any um, yeah. Yeah. verbs either. And so I'm kind of um, uh, off, you know, offer and monitor or, you know, promote, uh, I don't know, the the audits or, you know, they, Hmm? Yeah, so I, I yeah, well, it's, it's a, all the things. In support of Caitlin's comment, I Offer. think either it's, these Help. are just things that happen that we're not involved with. We may yeah. maybe like tell people about them, but so we can make a separate category to acknowledge those things, but they, they're not really things that we're gonna. Yes, yeah, so I think ongoing on. is things that are um, in the town newsletter, are promoted through town media, are things that, um, maybe our action items contribute to okay. these topics. Um, so mm -hmm. I thought they meant they just happened all throughout the year and were assigned to one quarter. Yeah. Well, and I think, but those are the things that are like in the newsletter. Like okay. have we, I don't know that we do anything about residential and commercial energy audits, but those are something that we make information available on the website and newsletter. Is mm -hmm. that Pretty much, and we support the support the Energy Star and Energy Smart program and pace. Yeah. Um, and but that's sort of passive, so it's not like an actual action that we're taking. And if review. and if this got approved, this got approved last year, more or less. Uh, yeah. Then then I'm all for changing it the minimum so it gets approved again. <laughs> okay. I mean, changing the way it's framed or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we can leave these more or less as is, unless there's something oh. egregious that we need to fix. Um, and then for the quarterly items, we can try to make those uh, more action-oriented. Action, action -oriented. Yeah, um, that sounds good. Uh, for the promote town's diversion goal, that still seems vague. Um, is, uh, and and I think, so I think that something with that, like that to me seems like something that we are gonna do something about if we're doing the sort and we're doing a scorecard, mm -hmm. like those are things that like in the first quarter would be like, release results of first sort and um, and whatever education goes along with that. So that goes under the quarter, but what happens under here, um, what happens under that part? So I get that that, that yeah. goes under the quarter. So you're saying this should stay, It it's weird because it's like, that's the first one to have a verb in it. And that's why I was struck by it. Um, yeah. Well, I think it's sort of odd too that we have uh, a bullet for promoting the town's diversion goal, but now we've got all sorts of other yeah. goals as well around yeah. sustainability, and so it seems odd to. Pull well, what that if we one say out. sustainability goals? How about okay. just put ditch diversion and put sustainability goals? Is that okay? Then it, yeah. <laughs> Different mic keyboard I'm used to yeah. using. Yeah. It's so <laughs> hard. It's a little smaller. All right. I mean, isn't that kind of a whole goal? Because to do that. Well, that's, yeah, that's why we're, yeah, we're updating that, it. That basically. covers everything. Yeah. That's why we're <laughs> yeah, yeah, that should just be the title of the document. Yeah. So we're done. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just don't know if that. I mean, that's why we're here. If it's right? relevant so, uh, to. Should we just. To again, this is just back. Yeah. So you want to just delete it entirely. Things. I think when they, we yeah. get to the quarterly things, then, then they're going to be set. Yeah, yeah. The, the things that happen, yeah, like you said. Everything that we are doing is promoting those goals, so it maybe we doesn't need to be a call out. Bullet? No, <laughs> yeah. no. Well, I kind of feel I'll like wait. evaluating recycling program is kind of tied to what you had there before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for the diversion side of things. Yeah, I felt like you're seeing something similar there in two different bullets. Yeah. So I. Well, and I think part of this one could be as well working with the town board to make sure yeah. that we're on the same page kind of and kind of right? promoting it to the community to make sure everyone's aware of the fact that we have sustainability goals in the first place. Um, so maybe we can just leave that as yeah. is. Yeah. All right. Um, promoting currently offered curbside organic subscription. Um, 
and yeah, that's something that we can do as a, the opportunity arises. Yep. Um, updating the website on environmental programs and education, which we do again kind of on that, um, an as needed basis. Um, Sorry, actually back to the HOA one. Sure. I'm just wondering if maybe we should combine the two and it just, it seems like we have a little bit too much in there. And then it actually makes us actually have to reach out. Jim is outgoing, so I don't know that there's going to be anybody from the HOA coming here. So we don't want this to be that, whoops, an ongoing thing. Because maybe if it's just lumped with like our yeah. sustainability thing, and we we just say um, yeah, promote. Or, or how about if we take that one in the next one, yeah. and say or that one in two down, and say instead, you know, uh, promote use of towns. Recycling and organics yeah. programs, yeah. period. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of or evaluate and promote use of or something like that. Yeah, because if we need to go to HOA, we don't need it to be on there. We'll just yeah. get it yeah. with it. But yeah. You know, the HOA seems to be the 100 pound gorilla, 200, 500 pound gorilla. <laughs> recycling and organics programs. Well, we have 1,400 <laughs> houses in the HOA at least. Mm -hmm. And then get and ditched. How many houses? Yeah. Yeah. The long one and the one two below. Do they? Uh, come here do you talk with them uh they the gym used to come to our meetings but, but it hasn't been in a few months and he's outgoing president yeah. now so i don't know Tonight's that they will the so i think there's about 20 well. just to answer your question i think there's about 2200 homes or so in town mm -hmm. yeah so, so it's, yeah. it's quite a bit okay so. okay i like that yeah i like that i think that's more concise yeah. and still gets the same ideas across um water conservation and drought strategies do you want to make that a little more specific? Um, I mean, we support some some water conservation programs, um, and we've also considered doing some like water meetings water. and yeah. kind of awareness type of programs. What um, are we doing during droughts, though? Uh, I don't know that we do anything in particular like during droughts. Um, yeah, we are we're in one right now, so right. But Superior is kind of weird since we have our own water supply, so typically we don't have the same sort of like um, mandatory restrictions that most other areas nearby do. So it's something that we definitely want to promote drought strategies and, and conservation generally, but it's not something we really run into a whole lot um, in terms of helping people meet restrictions. So where do we get our water from? Uh, kind of local reservoir. I can't remember exactly where. I've forgotten the names of them. And click on the name. And where does that get? Where does the water come from? Windy the Gap. Yeah. Is there a Windy Gap and a couple well, that's others? Wyoming. Yeah. No, but we we're we're participants in it too. Um, yeah. Was it Carter Lake? Is that where? Yeah. Boulder has its own water supply, but it's a glacier that's disappearing so i'm just curious you know what upstream do we get our water from that we can say we have uh snow melt in the upper colorado river basin as part of the northern waters big thompson project okay, big thompson so that's the one i was trying taking to taking it from the west side i'd like to change the yard waste one too can we simplify that one to something like sure promote use of the yard waste facility yep. period or something like that <laughs> I guess I don't know if drought strategy should be on there for actually not doing anything during Fair enough. That's my point. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I Can we consider something? I mean, I'm saying we, we could do something. Yeah. And we've also but done some we have xeriscaping leverage. classes. So maybe we should focus on water conservation and, and that was, xeriscaping. We did yeah, xeriscaping was, things. So. Yeah. That was we, um, and that's one of the things that should be in our first quarter action items is outreach to the resource central for their water wise landscaping classes that they offer um, so resource central works with communities to do zero escaping and um, like water use reduction classes so um, but we ready. haven't done one in Keep superior um, they do them in lafayette lewisville golden brighton so let's just say next year it's worse the water supply is worse <laughs> would we have any power to recommend they water or tell them they have to water on a certain day at a certain time or is that just something that 
I don't think our committee has the. Yeah. We can we can recommend to the town. To the town. Yeah, absolutely. Or yeah, we can provide recommendations. We can recommend certainly. all the time. That's yeah. that's what we're meant to do. Advise. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, are those is that usually when you do see water restrictions around town? Is that usually at the town council level? That. We don't make the decisions, yeah. They come. No, I'm talking about just other municipalities around when you do see water restrictions go into effect. Is that kind of decided at the city council level? So we could recommend that. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like we should put boundaries around when do we want to decide that we're going to drought. Right. And when should this go into effect? Should we wait until we're red on the map, you know, on the drought monitor? Or should we wait mm -hmm. until we're yellow, which is a step above green, orange? Yeah. I mean, it, it, it could be a fairly black and white answer. And I kind of agree. I think that, that, and that's something that, like, if if that's something we want to include in our work plan of, like, first quarter or second quarter, like we've done with sustainability scorecard or green business program, it's something that we could discuss as a committee and um, have somebody kind of take the lead on that and then pro do that advising to the town council as, of we've researched this topic, we, here are our recommendations, um, and so that's certainly something we could add in. Yeah, and I, I used to know, I, I know that Doug Short from Lafayette used to be involved in a, in a higher level state and Boulder County area um, thing that in the first quarter and so on, worried about what level they were and, and prepared for, st for steps for, for bad outcomes. Um, he unfortunately is, is retiring or just retired uh, recently. But he must have a replacement. We could reach out. He's, he was with Lafayette, but there's somebody who could potentially give us some information about. And what was his name? He's retired, so I don't think it will help. <laughs> he doesn't just want to have a telephone conversation? No. <laughs> he's doing genealogy stuff now, so no. Hmm. Uh, but I'm just trying to say that there is a, an organization or a group of people that are the public works engineers in various communities in the area that, that that do keep track of it and, and try to look at when has it become a crisis, how, how, how likely is it to be a crisis, and that sort of thing, that might be something we'd want to get information on. I think so, because it's like a trend in that we are drying out, so. Yeah, I, I mean, I like the idea of keeping it on there. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why are you adding something new? To your point yeah. for if we would have a like a first quarter item to look into oh it this further. is under first quarter yeah. now i see yeah. yeah so if that sounds good i was just going to do it since we're talking about it now yeah um so draft strategy draft strategy yeah and you're implying because we're looking hard at the snowpack at that point we kind of yeah. know what the summer's going to look like that's so when they start sure. getting sweating about yeah. it yeah okay we can put it in whichever quarter makes most sense right um i think we can take off recruit new membership <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> <laughs> Didn't ever think that would happen. Right? I know. <laughs> uh, bike and alternative transportation education. I think that one's a good one to leave yep. up there, especially as the town center develops. Or downtown, excuse me. Uh, Do you first have any kind of, uh, well, like, I have a place in Steamboat, and so Steamboat, they come out with a bike guide all the trails and everything like that. I know Boulder County does, but. Yeah, we um, have a superior map with all the trails. I think ProStack is Descriptions and that. stuff like that. Yeah, ProStack mm -hmm. has that that they have. Okay. Yeah. And we had also, one of the things that came up previously was talking about maybe partnering with um, like Louisville or some of the other local regions to kind of, you know, promote all the different bike paths, maybe for bike to work day or something along those lines, so. It doesn't, um, Commuter Solutions do that. They have yeah, kind of a regional do. bike map. Mm -hmm. And we keep that in the newsletter, the link to Commuter Solutions. Yeah. Right. Maybe we want to add something into the fall quarter that's like have at least one America Recycles Day um, um, activity. Oh, we haven't have done that. One, what? America Recycles Day? Activity. I haven't heard of that. It's that's November 15th. It's what day? It's November 15th every oh. year. Okay. America Recycles Day. Ready, guys. Next week. That's a great idea. So if you put an empty can in the recycling, you're good. <laughs> good to go. <laughs> you, have a, you have a cleanup or you have a, you know, yeah. whatever. Yes. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, I'm just trying to understand what, that, what does that uh, mean? Uh, I mean, what is it? Yeah, it's a, like building awareness of recycling around whatever. So there are whole con there are many, many cities in the country and states in the country um, have 
American Recycle. There are thousands of events that happen. So there are a host of ideas we could look at and okay. decide what suits us. Can I ask a question about recycling? Do you know how much like waste management has to throw out because it's contaminated recycling or stuff like that? It's a really long conversation. I just ran an all day workshop on it yesterday. Uh, <laughs> quick summary. You guys go grab. Yeah, we can do that off we can do it offline. Uh, yeah. Well, or we could do it I was after in we Chicago and run through we, the stock. Yes. Yeah, to be because <laughs> it, it was something we did discuss last month that we should continue mm -hmm. a discussion about. But yeah. Absolutely. I think it's an important topic. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So moving on to first quarter, we have research methods to address construction and demolition materials from new development in Superior. We should uh, add report out on uh, first waste sort and start conversation about start setting a goal. Is it not a county code to do that, or is that just city of Boulder that requires? We didn't adopt it. We oh. didn't adopt this county zero waste plan here in Superior. Oh, okay. Good to know. So I guess technically it's a county thing, but yes, Superior doesn't enforce it. Mm -hmm. What? It's technically a county thing then, but Superior doesn't enforce it? Or how do you it, word that? It just it's, curiosity. it's nothing mandatory anyway, but oh, okay. we didn't. We it was presented to us, but we didn't adopt it or accept or anything. So. Okay. How long ago was that? Well, Lisa Friend was here presenting it, and she has not worked for Boulder County for at least four years. So I'd say it was six years ago. Okay, so that's before downtown Superior came into the picture. Started, before what? Before downtown Superior started building. Oh yes. So it might be worth with a new board yeah, and new people on the board. town board might be worth revisiting. Mm -hmm. That's on there. Yeah. Cool. I think I think um, getting some metrics out would be a good way to get some uh, town board attention. So I think maybe that cart mend the horse. Okay. <laughs> I don't know that we need that one because I feel like we address it kind of in our ongoing stuff or could enhance an ongoing thing. Which one? The, the research three? organics composting program? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Yeah. Coordinate with staff to confirm compliance for all new development and superior. Yeah, that's kidding. Three. <laughs> um, yep. Gather data for comparison benchmarking. Perfect. It's just on that. Fantastic. I would just change the including the zero waste thing because we've oh, yeah. moved yeah. on from that. So. That's true. Yeah, just stop that. Yeah. Yeah, with neighboring. Uh, review programs that can encourage residents to implement better grass and landscaping that use less water and develop schedule for outreach. So, so I would. The button, the drought stuff. Well, <laughs> I would say that that one would be um, request it, change it to like request resource central host a workshop in. Town of yeah. Superior. Ooh. Great. Good job. Yeah, we know what programs are out there. Right. We don't need to review them. Just um, like an event in Superior. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what they're called. I, I think they're called Waterwise event. Workshops. Yeah. Because yeah. you can see, I leave the water conservation goal and then yeah. all tie in. Yeah, Waterwise Seminars. Uh, you get used to the keyboard. <laughs> okay. Promote Boulder County Energy Smart Program, energy audits, all that stuff. I think we stuff. already have that yeah, on so the ongoing stuff. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's one of the okay. ongoing. Oh, it's just in the ongoing, so. What? The ongoing doesn't say we're doing anything. These are the ones that we're doing, at least that's where you explained it. Well, but the yeah, promoting but is always going on in the newsletter, and we have that topic, I thought, covered on top, but maybe that was just me thinking. I think about. there's the identify an opportunity to host uh, an event focused on energy um, that we had talked about before, and that's different from the ongoing items. So mm -hmm. um, should we shorten it to just that? Yes. Maybe like an energy smart event, since we're removing that first part. Clarify yeah. what kind of Is there a reason why we don't have Excel Energy audits up there? Those... Like you mean home energy audits? <coughs> yeah, Excel does energy audits on homes. I thought yeah. that was up on the top on the ongoing. 
I think that's one of the things well, we put in the newsletter on a regular basis. So the Energy Sort also does energy audits in conjunction with Excel. Yeah. So um, they're they're combined. So we can we can add that on as an additional one if we want to promote some of Excel's uh, offerings. Both Next one energy down. Audits, Look at number so eight. Does Excel oh, yeah. do a separate oh, right. yeah. energy audit program that's different so from energy? So add support? more programs. I, I believe yeah, so. They offer rebates yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Bill inserts that say you can get energy audit on your home from Excel, and I don't think that's tied to energy. Smart. They have a wider range of contractors that they work with than Energy Smart. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, the so. thing we would probably want to promote is people getting energy audits, and they can get them either mm -hmm. through Energy Smart or, or through Excel, Excel yeah. or on their own. Yes. So we're. You know, we can be inclusive of all those. Sure. Yes. We don't we have a, separate line items, but we can just have one yes. that's inclusive of that. Yes. Well, we can also potentially consider promoting um, both those uh, home energy audits and then also Excel's ongoing incentives, rebates, so um, which we haven't really done in the past. Let's just revise eight and say something like. Uh, so promote. number eight was actually um, the Slightly partners in, in energy program. We had talked yeah. about doing that last year and we didn't. But right. that's where like they would actually come in and work with us. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, so I think. So add a new one. Yeah. Okay. Programs. Isn't that in the ongoing? Perfect. Um, yeah. Yeah. You can. You're confusing yeah. me then with this ongoing. Oh, we've got or not ongoing. Like I don't. Yeah. Yeah. So residential and commercial energy audits is in the ongoing. That it's a regular thing that we're promoting oh in the newsletter and outreach. So I guess the the thing is that yeah, it's an ongoing item, but we haven't really promoted Excel's offerings yeah. in the past. Mm -hmm. We've just promoted the Energy Smart and yeah. based stuff. So if something's maybe mentioned we just there, say, it should be there should be something specific about it down yeah. here. That's the way I understand it. So maybe we should say promote existing Excel. So we don't Excel delete it if it's down, if it's up there. We make sure it's down here too. So the top's the executive summary. This is the body. Yes. Right. Does that sound good? If we so it shouldn't be an orphan up top. So the I think my question is: Are we doing that in every quarter through the year, though? I don't know. And so if it's something we're doing in every quarter through the year, it goes in the ongoing. Oh. No. Right. But then and I think we should. But, but then you have to use the verb, like Lisa was saying. <laughs> what? Then you have yeah. to use the verb, so just like Lisa add was saying. Yeah. To the very first line, then. <laughs> All right. Is that okay with everyone? I, I think. Because oh. yeah. here it's like every like every quarter, every month we're promoting those energy audits, and it doesn't specify here Energy Smart or Excel. Yeah. It's just we're promoting energy audits. And rebates? Is that an okay addition? Yes. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so we're reviewing the Excel Energy Partner Partners in Energy program. I think that's still a good one to do. We didn't get this up last year, but I think it'd still be helpful. Yes. Um, and then investigating. Number, but that one, I thought we determined last month through that presentation that there was nothing in the near term we could do on nine. Oh, for electric vehicles. I kind of took it that yeah. way too because yeah. that's what I understood out of that meeting. Well, what about uh, that guy's presentation with Tesla? Yes. They'll do what they want to. <coughs> the answer yeah. was pretty much given. You already yeah. talked to them. I thought that there was no the was grant money them. available that could do something or other, and he couldn't consult or whatever. I thought I. I, oh, I, I, I well, that was like, some. Uh, I read the minutes or whatever. That's not with Tesla itself. I mean, Tesla's building He was right the there. rep from Tesla. Okay, though. how about instead of it being investigate options, because basically it was up to Tesla and like the board and whoever, so we need to maybe just kind of keep in the, I'm not keeping in the loop isn't the right thing, but we need to kind of keep up with what's going on with that okay. and then try to advise where we can. Okay. I really don't care. Because they definitely have Karen. Yeah, so and I think there may be some confusion on RJ's presentation last week. So I don't think that it was a, a no go that there isn't any opportunities. He he is available and can consult with us. Excuse me, with us. He just wanted to make sure that he wouldn't be totally knocked out of um, bidding on the process of installation, which from our staff meeting he he wouldn't be. 
So we are able, as a committee, to work with him. Yeah. It's just that there wasn't going to be budget money until the 2019-2020 budget. That's what yes. I recall. And we did request that money to hire a consultant to do that. So we do have the ability to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So should we change this to work with? Well, when, yeah. that, when, when you said 2019-2020, so but when would that budget be available? Sure. So I, I actually, I'd have to double check on that, but I do believe it is that we did request that for the 2019 budget. Yeah. So at some point next year, this committee can make well, a recommendation. At the town's, at the board's approval, can, um, you know, hire a contractor to do this EV charging study that we wanted to do. Yes. So, so somewhere in next year when we... So maybe then Q1 is identify you know, a, a, a consultant, a consultant. Yeah, yes. like scope that project and hire a consultant or you know make the recommendation to the board to do that you know well, i was thinking more of tesla as a community member yeah you know not necessarily the ev charging stations but you know they're going to be here and uh you know I... they could have some positive impact and uh you know well do we know a promotion I... yeah i have no idea i haven't talked to them or anything we're, they are going to be here, and there aren't too many Tesla you know, so dealerships a, around. So there's committee budget that's identified as hiring a consultant on this? Well, I think it's we, town budget. It is. At yes. the request I'm of the committee. I'm asking committee. Is there a committee? So it's the town is going to do something, and it's coming out of the town's budget, not out of our committee's budget? That's what I'm asking. Uh, so I think it was additional funds that the committee requested for our budget to, to hire a consultant. Right, to cover the cost of a consultant. Yes. I missed that. Okay, so we would just need to confirm oh, whether that, that spending those funds is at our discretion or we need the town's board's approval to spend that. Yeah, and I do believe we would have to make a recommendation to the board to, to spend the money for that. And I would just suggest that we should talk to some of our neighboring towns who may have already investigated this and we have no need to spend the money. So I think. I'm going to guess Boulder's done a ton of work and they'd be happy to send somebody down or whatever. So I, I do that well, before I, we I think there is some town specific. We identified a Got town that. specific yeah. need, which was to say, if we thought we wanted five charging stations in downtown Superior, can somebody do the analysis to say what's the utilities need and how does that compare with the existing infrastructure? And, and what would it cost? What's yeah. that? And right like where and okay. which locations in town would be the best ones. So there would be some town specific analysis that would not that would need done. to be done. Yes. Yeah. So uh, being a new member, where do we get a budget? Or how do we get, how is the money, is it given to us from the town board? And how much is it? <laughs> not much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, they go through the budgeting process in the summer. So we made those requests yes. and they, I think they just approved it. Yep. And how much is that just yeah, so each each committee gets a discretionary fund of around five thousand dollars. If there's anything additional or specific project that we wanted to work on, such as this, then we make a request to get that additional funding. I can't remember what we requested. Was it, it five was or like ten? Nine. 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 Was so we have an additional nine thousand mm -hmm. subject to town board approval for yes. this project. Do you think it's too aggressive to say we're going to identify a consultant though in Q1? I would prefer that we not, yeah, that it'd be a little vaguer than that. Yeah, I think a little more, yeah. I mean, I, I think to your point, we might have a supercharging network across the street here next summer. Yeah. Right. I mean, seriously. Right yeah. here. So why would we well, want to put a bunch no. of chargers in? Well, well that's part of the discussion is proprietary. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, but I think yeah, but the, part of that study, though, is something. if 90% of the cars in town are Tesla, consultant. then we but invest in these other non-charging ones yeah. 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 right? Well, that's not actually not the thing. The yeah. thing that they we would use the funding so. for next year is for that study, yeah. not for mm -hmm. not for investing in the charging. I feel like I feel like Tesla, well. though, to his point, is a game changer because I think mm -hmm. because the, the dealership is now in our backyard. It doesn't mean that everybody is going to buy a Tesla. It's one in the parking lot right here. <laughs> well, yeah, they might. I, um, my suggestion would be that that gets folded into the scope for the, the study that we would hire somebody to do. And for say, like, take, yes, absolutely take into account the fact that there's a Tesla dealer here and they're going to put Tesla specific chargers. Yeah. 
and that just factors into their whole yeah, analysis like and evaluation of where the town needs chargers and how and many. Then, yeah, I mean, and it's not like we don't want to push, you know, no. either for no. the, I mean, well, I'm sorry, we do want to push for the board to I'd push for Tesla to yeah. include other chargers on their lot. Sure. So I, can, I think that kind of addresses that too. So, yeah. so like the South Boulder Rec Center, I mean, I'm, I grew up in Boulder, so I know some of those. They have a charging yeah. station, two of Seems them, fine. and that's Tesla's park there and Nissan. BMW, so it's basically kind of universal type chargers. There is one, but at the Tesla, Tesla's is proprietary. They have a secondary one that they can use on everybody else's network, but theirs at their dealership are proprietary to them, and they aren't necessarily going to install the ones that work for every other vehicle. So that's the okay. tricky balance. No, I, so, I guess I get your point. Yeah, the, until the government says apples, so you'll get to have your own charger every time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, in the interest of moving on to the second quarter, is this an okay bullet? Uh, as written to investigate options for increasing electric vehicle charging infrastructure in Superior. No, maybe we can leave it. Consultant cool study egg. and all that. Yeah, that's, I'm not sure it's that much different from how it was before, but that's okay. <laughs> no, but I think it identifies it pretty good, so. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's good. And then the drought strategies that we discussed Sweet. previously. Um, so second quarter, promoting the PACE program. Um, is this an item that we want to have in second quarter? Yeah, or? so I think maybe in second quarter, because that's when, like, the green business program gets relaunched every year right, so okay. maybe now that we've done that combine one and two into promote superior green business recognition program <laughs> back 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 so much pressure, I see so much pressure. I've been in that seat. It's just hard enough to see him like yeah. <laughs> really looks wrong. Yeah, All right. so that um, takes care of one. Get rid of everything yeah. down. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. All right, light bulb education. Do we have any left? Um, I mean, we, we, have we provided at left. events and things, and but yeah. should we get I think we can get rid of that one. I feel like yeah. most people yeah. at, like, yeah. Chili Fest yeah. said, like, we've already replaced all the light bulbs in yeah. our house, so mm -hmm. I think yeah. we're good on that um, one. Permit indoor and outdoor residential water audits. Yeah. I think that one's a good one to have because yeah. it's yeah. late People like them, they sell out. Yep. yep. Uh, coordinate participation in the Garden in the Box program. Wasn't that above? We had yeah. Garden in the Box. We did a promote, so yep. that should be yeah. promote. Maybe we should one of them is one, one of them make is make sure we're signed up for. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> next one. Yeah. So in Q1, change it to um, coordinate and promote, yep. and then just get rid of it out of Q2 because it'll kind of then the flow in things. So the uh, promote uh, participation in Garden. Budget oh, thank for you. the water irrigation companies to come in and do that audit. That comes from the so it's actually, I believe, a Boulder County program, right? It's like back here. But isn't it part of our budget? Say the, that again. The, the water, box. Oh. Mm -hmm. the water audits. The sprinkler. The sprinkler is an indoor. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, it, the town participates in the program. Is that what you're saying? Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's a Boulder County program. And how is it yeah. funded? Do you know how many people participated in that from Superior? So we can we can get that data. I don't have that off the top of my head. So it's it's good it's a good program i went through it and mm -hmm. yes. yeah, well. found uh, you know problems and fixed it at no cost so or minimal cost so yeah um tied to the outdoor residential good. audits do we want to i think we talked about this at a meeting or two ago promoting the, mm -hmm. uh, the newer type controllers the wi-fi enabled controllers yeah i think that'd be great um, and i think the town gives a rebate for it says as well yeah it's up to a hundred dollars is great. Um, like that, uh, I think our, our town actually has smart controllers, I believe, right? I think so. Oh, I've seen it rain and, and then it's very close. Our, so maybe we need <laughs> yeah. to start with the town. Yeah. Yeah. They, <laughs> HOA. Um, they do have a computer controlled system. I know they have a newer system, but I don't know if it's intelligent enough to not run with it. Oh, I don't know how it's not, I, I don't know if they've updated it, but they did change from you know manual ones to a computer yeah, that's controlled true. one. So I think that's a good changing. item to look into though for our group. So which quarter would that best fit into? Well right, I guess right before we're gonna turn the spring those on. Right. Yeah, so yeah, second, quarter. second quarter. All right. like that. I think Laura 
had the sprinklers on by then. He asked maybe Q1? Yeah. yeah, sorry. I was oh, just fine. trying to do some like thinking in my so head. So it's timely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I think town sprinklers as well, I, you know, um, optimizing the aim. I think we all drive down the street, Rock Creek in the morning, and it's a river coming down because mm -hmm. the sprinklers are running too much. And, yeah, they're spraying not the right areas and all that. So <laughs> get there eventually. <laughs> okay. I've been sleeping much because <laughs> the baby. So. Aww. Yeah. All right. Does that sound good? Yeah, investigate no, that's train. great. All right. Cool. Yeah. 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 Sounds good. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Uh, coordinate publicizing a special promotion and spring reminder for landscaping cleanup related to the air waste facility. That's I think good. like handing out some of those paper bags, recycling bags. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. Instead of buying yeah, light bulbs or lamps, yeah. we're yeah. handing mm -hmm. out some paper yeah. bags. Yeah. yeah. That they can use and take to yard the yard waste, waste facility. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. That would yeah. be, yeah, because that's one of the things that we talk about each year is like what's our giveaway at booths, because we do a booth yeah. at Chili Fest and Arbor Day. Um, and so that would be a good. I mean, a five option. pack at Home Depot is like two bucks. Yeah. yeah that's pretty, pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Does that sound That's good? good. Enough? Yeah, cool. but maybe I'm good with seven. Uh, are you going to remember eight. what that is that you wanted? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, put it in paper bags. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Consider paper bags. Yeah. Like, like yeah. Or Kill the or date in eight. Eight. Well, because we also talked about or compostable eight. Ziploc Just bags. Like, and also compostable garbage bags for the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got think Taking the switch from, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out to, Yay, um, look at that, Essie. Talking about bags, how about uh, suggestions of getting rid of the plastic bags, straws, and our businesses? Yeah. We tried the plastic bag thing a few years ago. It was shot down very yeah, rapidly. Well, I think we could pick back up on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's back up. It would be yeah. lovely. I think we'll do I know the third before. and fourth quarter are always lighter because yeah, we've gotten all our ideas out, so uh, maybe third quarter is a good spot too. for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And there might be a resurgent. I, um, it was like um, the other day that they said that the word of the year, like for last year, was single use. So. Oh, very interesting. Yeah. So it's perhaps time again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The good thing is we did a lot of work on it. We just recycle all of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's cool. Don't, Excellent. Don't get rid of that yet, Michelle. Um, compare data gathered in Q1 yeah, with, I'm good with that. the burden <clears throat> communities. Is that redundant given the scorecard? No, because we did that in the first, the scorecard thing that happened in the, happened in the first month, first quarter, and this this lets yeah, us I think do, can um, get, get more stuff from other communities, which is, I think, appropriate. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I think what it really is going to be is us saying, hey, other communities, will you, I gotta go. will you yeah, gather the same go. data that we did and compare it? Yeah. All right, uh, continue Ditch recycling education. Yeah. Any other events or anything we should consider? I think those are good. Those are our standard ones. Um, and then developed 2020. Good. <coughs> Oops. Budget recommendations. Oh. Way in the future. <laughs> <What? 2020. laughs> Start right. It's a really long term plan. 2120. Yes. Okay. And some monitor compost options. Continue the dog park compost. Well, yeah, I mean, I think we're going to develop these next year, so we don't know what they are. We can yes. have examples. But I yeah. think one thing that we should need to call out is what's going to be the proposal for next year's county sustainability grant, because this year we're queuing at the last second. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that involves some town budget, so we could lump that in here. Yeah, I think so that's that always the wait. hard thing, is it's like we don't know if we're going to get in the town budget until about the same time the grant is due. But I think having a plan ready to go. We can have one proposal <laughs> yeah. in advance. Yes. Then, um, Sounds yeah. good. And okay. the, other, the other one that we might, depending on how it goes, the, we might have this time is the, um, the EV charging thing. So if we do a study in the first part of the year, then we might have a recommendation about what to do about it by the second half of the year, which is going to the budget. Or by the time the budget cycle starts. I mean, as the 
town center is being developed. Can you go down for the second read? Do we have any idea if the developer is, if it's on the developer's radar to put the infrastructure in place to be able to easily add a charger? Or are we going to have to pay to run the electrical from 100 feet away? Because we want that charger in that parking spot. So I think uh, that's part of that Q1, like investigating the options. Yeah, we don't know. Because we don't. But you get what I'm saying, right? I mean, yeah. while everything's yeah. wide open, it's all yeah. dirt. We, it's easy to drop concrete yeah. when some pipes are going to run. If they have to run new lines, they need to do it sooner well, before they later. put concrete all over just everything. Making them do it over there. I don't understand why. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So That's why the planners should know. Yeah. Like rough and in stuff, basically. Rough and in is basically yeah. suggesting. Um, I think the problem was that all of the development plans have already been approved and we can't go back and like add a requirement but we could have a conversation perhaps we can find out if it's in the plan yeah encourage it to be in the plan even in the last two or three years the electric cars culture has shifted so much you know thank you all right any other Comments on that? I noticed something about changed. you mentioned bike biking, so uh, I don't know. You know, something issues would be with the way the lights work, uh, particularly if you come down Rock Creek to Colton and you're on mm -hmm. a bike and no one's there going going north. Light never changes for you, and then you have to, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know if that's part of the sustainability or just. Uh, it isn't. But that's a really good point. There's a traffic safety committee, and I would actually I would highly yes. recommend to find out when they meet. I have they a lot are, of concerns because I do a lot of biking. They are really responsive and really awesome, but I can't, it's not been clear to me if they automatically meet every month, but Karen might be able to help us with that. Yeah, well, you can press it, but you got to walk, get off your bike or drag the bike over yeah. and press it. Yeah. We can always have a general item for investigating ways to promote, you know, non-car travel, um, including things like that, as well as, you know, the Colton Ride. And I feel like, like ProStack also does a bunch of that with the trails well, because they do trails. Um, so I think they do a lot of bike type of things. Mm -hmm. Who's ProStack? Parks, Recs, Open Space, oh. Trails Advisory Committee. Okay, so that's the Boulder County. Well done. <laughs> that's another no, that's a local town one. Oh, it's another, yeah. yeah. It's a peer of the yep. Yep. Oh, really? Sorry, I'm mm -hmm. carrying a bunch of proxies for the Rock Creek HOA meeting. Uh, Thanks for Cohen's uh, handy. Gotcha. Thanks, Sandy. Yeah, delivered mine to somebody else. Hopefully, you'll have somebody who's regular after the, our next board. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Instead of me being your substitute all the time. But we'd like you as our substitute. Thank you so yeah, thanks so much. Back for ProStack. Um, it's I, on the website. I don't know who they're. But yeah, and then um, and then the traffic safety committees. Like I think they're supposed to meet every month, but they don't necessarily unless there's something on the agenda, maybe. But, but um, I'm sure there's contact info. On yeah. That. But, but I nice. think you know it, maybe we can even keep like an open item, like investigate what prohibits people from not using alternative transportation, maybe. Yeah. Kind of. It's too easy to get the car, but yeah, if oh. the lights were work, work better, that mm -hmm. might help. Because it'd be good if, like, if we scary. gathered info like that through our little sources, like, because it's one of our goals, at least, and we can share it with communities in a different way that maybe they're not right. hearing. Uh, easier. Does that sound good? Investigate ways yes. to promote alternative. Yeah. All right, sweet. <laughs> Um, so the other uh, items that we haven't talked about, including include uh, research commercial recycling opportunities, which I think is still a good item to have. Exploring the possibility of a fall leaf collection program, which is something we've talked about a lot in the past, but um, that could be good. Uh, I think that number three is covered through yeah. uh, green business. Agreed. So get that. Based on data gathered and compared, examine gaps and prioritize actions for 2020. So, just talking about recycling, I mean, the whole market sort of collapsed since trying to quit uh, taking our paper. So, I don't know if it's countywide or what, but uh, back when I was in college a long time ago and after I came out, we did a study on taking recycled paper and turning it into uh, packaging material. Hmm. 
stuff like that to create markets for it. So I don't know if that's anything that uh, you know, the county is thinking of or anything. That's a good question. Because um, if you want to recycle more, you've got to re create the markets so that the recyclers can, uh, you know, or else it just goes to the landfill. Mm -hmm. Does that capture that sufficiently, researching alternative ways to promote recycling markets? Right, so we're talking on the supply side. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if we're promoting. Or it's almost like we need to make sure that we've keeping the tab on whether or not EcoCycle is able to deal with the recycling that they're getting. Right. Yeah. And so maybe making there's sure something. that we're kind of promoting yeah. the messages that yeah. they need about a cleaner thing. Like we might be lucky that EcoCycle can sell theirs yes. because they clean it up, but we yeah. have to do Eco our part. EcoCycle is a little bit better than most recyclers. So, so maybe it's like. So we have to do our part to help make yes. sure the public is doing what EcoCycle needs so it right. can be used. So I'd say that would be like, we would invite EcoCycle to come talk with us and mm -hmm. see like, how can we help support you? Is there anything that the town of Superior can yeah. be doing um, in partnership with EcoCycle? Um, so we invite EcoCycle to present to us. Yeah. yeah. And we can, we've done that with other um, county organizations, things like that. So if there's someone we want to invite to come to a meeting that anybody has an idea of, that would be good for us to have more knowledge, mm -hmm. then that's always something we can do for upcoming meetings. Well, so, I think on the plastic bag ban that applies yeah. there too, we probably want to learn from what Boulder went through on that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Froger recycles plastic bags, like newspaper bags, mm -hmm. plastic bags, but like Safeway doesn't. And I don't yeah. know what, if Kroger gets, you know, a bunch of crap that they do with it. But, uh, Safeway takes bags. They have a little bin that you can deposit bags yeah. in. Yeah, but uh, no, I know what you're talking about. Outside King Supers, they, they on their plastic recycling thing, they actually take plastic used to wrap uh, paper towel rolls. Oh. Uh, plastic oh. used to go around it's drink film. containers. Yeah, they call them Target, film, uh, Target takes all, kind, all kinds of plastic, not just all right, grocery so bags. Have we mentioned that then in the newsletter or made it clear? Because like uh, the camera delivers and the Wall Street and all that, they all deliver plastic bags yeah. every single day mm -hmm. if you're well, well those, are the, those are the straight air. recyclables. Those at least yeah. Yeah, with the yeah, shopping yeah. bags. But yeah, you're right. Yeah. Take them to Target. I don't know. Like, how did we word that back in Q1? Or where was that when we talked about, like, what they can recycle? Because we should just make sure to address those materials in there, too. Um, where was that? Because it's like a lot of ways we want to promote the eco cycle stuff, but that stuff isn't necessarily eco cycle. Yeah, like, where can you take your bags? Yeah, so what kind of bags? Recycling education. So maybe that's recycling education for residents and businesses. This is one of our ongoing things that we put information in the newsletter. We could mm -hmm. put information about special film recycling, plastic recycling, mm -hmm. um, and options for local businesses that take them. So yeah, yeah. Does that sound good to make it a little bit more yeah, uh, a little clearer? All right, fourth quarter. Explore the possibility of a business association coordinating waste collection for downtown Superior. Uh, I think That's that one's still we going. Were going to do this time yep. of year. Yeah, but I guess it's, I mean, to be fair, that we thought that some stuff was going to be a bit further along. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I think that's still a good one that I yeah. can for next year. Yeah. But do you think that'll be too late if it's in the fourth quarter? Just, oh, that's true. Just wanted to think about that now. I haven't I mean, it, up on the I building mean, plan submitted, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes it's like it goes from nowhere to like overnight, yeah. and I wonder if in the spring we would see yeah. maybe a plethora of things coming up. Yeah. We could also move it to Q1 with the idea That's that if it's about. Yeah. really relevant, we can so move it. So what does that mean? When you say waste loaded. collection, yeah. you're talking about So it's like the HOA landfill? for the houses, yeah. but mm -hmm. having somebody that's collecting the waste to make sure that yeah. businesses in uh, downtown have ways of getting, you know, recycling and potentially composting and things like that. Because we did, so just, just a little bit of history, a few years ago we were actually presented with the plans and what like certain requirements from the town were going to be 
and what our requirements, or sorry, our recommendations would be as a committee as to what they should have buildings and residences in there already. So it's kind of good. We already kind of got a little bit of say in there, but we need to make sure it's actually happening, I guess. So we're talking about recycling, not... Well, it's recycling and trash. It was, it was everything. Uh, compost. We were trying to recommend, like, how big they should have their corrals and how many sorts they should have, like, options and stuff like that. I guess I feel like the thing, even if, you know, first quarter and second quarter are pretty heavy loaded, there's stuff that kind of carries through. Yeah, for sure. Well, who, who holds the knowledge on what's going on across the street? I'm sorry? Like, who holds the knowledge of what's going on across the street? No, that's, I mean, a, that's a really does tricky it boil question. Down I think right to, now. We know what they should do, but how do we tell them what they should do? Yeah, that's it's been a discussion. Be same yeah. question on electric yeah. charging stations. Yeah. Too much. Right, and and just to just to kind of clarify, we as a committee are are making recommendations, so right. we can't enforce. Sure. Or sure. or tell businesses or or you know the yeah. downtown area what to do. We we as the committee make the recommendation to the town board, and then the town board decides whether they move forward or not. So I think number eleven there then would be us, somebody figuring out like with ranch capital or whoever like what's your existing plan for this? Do you have a plan for this? If they do have a plan, we would get that information and say hey town council you know here's what their current plan is we would recommend maybe yeah. encouraging this yeah. instead and sort of check it against the compliance against what we recommended when yeah. they were originally proposing okay yeah i like that does that sound good is that feasible karen yeah okay that that's excuse me that's exactly <laughs> how it should happen yeah cool. cool i mean the town doesn't really have a an ordinance for solid waste in any mm. way shape or form no. I don't believe so. That we shall provide recycling mm -hmm. options or you know, all homes need to have a recycling container. Or, so is there a uh, separate is that the angle, angle we go to? Oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, is that the angle we visit the town board with is creating an ordinance? We certainly could. Explore it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yes, we can certainly advise that that would be the direction the town board go and see what they say. Mm -hmm. So, so we like to have a that as a separate HOA for the new residential going up, or is it going to be part of I the? I think it has been Rock Creek. I think it's, it's not gonna, part of Rock Creek. I don't know to tell the truth, but. It won't be part of Rock Creek, but I believe there'll be a standalone separate HOA yeah, for the new be. development. So do we want to put in the um, advising bullet around creating an ordinance somewhere? Sure. Uh, which quarter should we stick Honestly, that in? I think, hmm? I think fourth, really, I think fourth quarter could be good. I think it's going to take okay. us yeah. all year to get the a lot of the information we want and investigate things. Yeah. Like, I would think that we'd be prepared to do it by this point, I guess is what we're thinking. And then they'll, like, fourth quarter 2019, they'll probably have most of those houses built. Well, I think... Yeah, but if an ordinance goes in, then they'll have to update, right? Yeah. I don't know about this. That's a good question. Um, continue recycling education programs in schools. That's good. Um, initiate Arbor Day invitations for sustainability quarter corner twenty twenty. Oh. Fall shredded event. Um, that's something we'll do. And then participating participating in the holiday light count the lights event, yeah. which is something we always do. Yeah. Anything else for Q four or in general? It's gonna keep us busy. Yep. This is one of the more extensive rewrites I've seen, which is good. So um, I think that's all good stuff. Yeah. All right. Let me go ahead and save this. And then we can move on to, I think we just have, yeah, the newsletter bullets. Um, so sorry to do this. I should have done this with new business or agenda amendment. But looking at that work plan being what we had planned for this year as well do we have a plan for participating in count the lights or what we should do <laughs> okay well let me update you on what's happening with count the lights Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um so because we are in the process of hiring a new cultural arts events person uh, we have decided to postpone 
the 2018 Count the Lights, and we as uh, pro staff will be supporting the Chamber's Skate with Santa. Okay. So okay. that event is on hold for this year. It will come back bigger and better next year with our new staff person. Um, so it is, it will okay. not be happening this so year. So will committees then be participating or have a booth or anything like that with at Skate with Santa? Most likely not, okay. um, only because that, that event is only an hour and 15 minutes or so, and it's it's a pretty short yeah. amount of time. <laughs> um, and you it's can a, chase after people on skates with yeah. LEDs. <laughs> it's a it's a, pretty <laughs> much a, a chamber focused program. Okay. It is, but we could they do hand out bags to every participant, so we could so we could put like filter a, anything over that we think we need to, like yeah. the wrapping. Mm -hmm. Recycling wrapping, paper recycling, you know, yeah. we have some materials and stuff fully that we can be like, here, use them for your bags. Yeah, that might be good. <laughs> Yeah, so that would be something that I would encourage uh, someone from the committee to reach out to someone at the chamber. I don't know if you're all aware that Heather has resigned as well. Oh, no. um, so we are, uh, they're working to find um, someone else to uh, run the chamber as well. Trisha um, will be taking Heather's place until they find a replacement. Can you send her contact info? Yes. Okay, thank you. Cool. So maybe we can brainstorm something that would go in their bags as a yeah. end of year. I was just thinking we have a bunch of like random we stuff left for the things. So I was like, literally <laughs> thinking about that box and being like, <laughs> stuff just add in. one. <laughs> Preferably not the tree ones. <laughs> relevant ones would yes, be relevant, Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah. So it's time of year, I guess. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that up. Um, and then the pros newsletter bullets. Um, so newsletter bullets. Were the ones that we submitted last time good for because i thought you said you were combining yes so and actually that's that's a very good point uh we did combine um that was uh sent out and it was november december so we don't <coughs> okay. so we bullets. don't need bullets for december okay. perfect um uh, we may consider putting something like if, if you wanted to give some updates for january since and we kind of need to decide how that December yeah. meeting is happening. And if it's just a holiday gathering, then we won't. So maybe it's something that we can decide as a committee that Essie and I will work on offline. Or if, I, we, yeah, if you want to put something the, together right now, that's fine as well. I think January bullet points would be recognizing the businesses that mm -hmm. got certified with our green business program for 2018. Mm, that's, that's good. And maybe highlighting some of the work plan changes. But I think that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy with that approach. That sounds good to everyone. All right. Cool. Well, thanks, everyone. Thank you. Enjoy the meeting. Meeting. So adjourned. we're just going to email about the dinner next month. That's what we decided. Yeah. If you'd like, uh, Essie can oh. send out an email that we can, you know, start discussing where where you want to meet and. Do we have? Time. Are we going to have any sort of agenda for next month? I mean, it'd be cool to maybe have discussion topics because I don't want to lose sight of this dirty recycling issue. Yeah. It so, really is important. so just to update Michelle too, I don't think you were here when we discussed, <coughs> no, so sorry. we discussed changing the December meeting to just a holiday gathering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, I think we could still to... talk about That's things. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, I mean, like topics of discussion at our holiday. <laughs> general discussion. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy no to put together some. decisions to be made. But I'd like to hear more about that because I know Lisa has lots of input. Sounds like you do as well. I haven't met you yet. But, yeah, um, be... yeah. Do Should we adopt officially our work plan if we're not going to oh, have an official meeting in December? Mm -hmm. No, yep. we have quorum. Yep. That would be something that you would need to do. I think that's okay. a great idea. Well, do we need to maybe clean it like right now or clean like should we do and accept changes and give it a final read through maybe a, adopt it at the december meeting or sure oh i mean we'll adopt, adopt it. it over dinner <laughs> yeah that's it's not necessarily uh, because that won't be a public meeting yeah. with an agenda that we goes can. out and things of that nature saying. so uh, so we won't be able to do it that way or can, can we, we say we, right now that we accept it with the changes that will be made per our review right and and you actually i mean like we can adopt this yes <coughs> exactly the way michelle just stated okay. and then we should potentially have one meeting in january before it goes to the town board yeah. okay okay, okay. Uh, so should we do a sure so a motion. you propose a, a motion. motion to adopt our 2019 work plan with the changes reviewed during this meeting. Second. All in favor? Quick, quick, Aye. Guys, Aye. A quick question. Fine. So is yeah. someone going to accept this and give it a clean read through for typos and everything? So I just don't want to approve something that might be 
Well, she said with changes, so that would okay. mean that would mean changes. edits. Got it. Yeah, okay. with typos. changes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I I no, but you're right. I should add that in. Cleaned up with the changes and proofread. Okay, got it. That's yeah. a fair. There we I think it'd be nice yeah. to like. And, and Caitlin, you're capturing that. Take that a look statement. at it. Okay. It's totally fair to say like okay. I should have involved all those parameters. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And, and just to clarify, oh. Caitlin, you captured the exact statement, so we just want to make sure we have that. Motion to adopt work plan with future changes in proofreading. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> and that was first by Michelle and second by Essie. Mm -hmm. Yes. And unanimous. Did we all vote? All in favor? Aye. Perfect. Aye. Thank you. Woohoo. Um, Motion passes. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Now we can adjourn. Meeting adjourned at 7-11. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much. Discuss by, you yeah. know, the